And welcome to Ducks No Sports. This week, we're talking about NFL free agency, which all the fun kicks off Tuesday, March 13th. Okay, we're going to start with uh, one guy. Maybe, maybe heard of him, maybe haven't. His name is um, Peyton M- M- Manning. Uh, maybe you heard of him, maybe, maybe not. You know, four time MVP, uh, Super Bowl winner, Super Bowl MVP. Probably a few, uh, obviously a, few, a first ballot uh, Hall of Famer, hands down. One of the best quarterbacks to ever play. And there's been a lot of speculation where he goes, a lot of interest out there. Kind of a little surprising since, you know, he hasn't he hasn't played a snap in over a year. I mean, didn't play one snap last year. And a lot of teams like the Redskins are, are interested. The Jets are interested. The Cardinals are interested. And surprisingly, another team is interested, which really shocked me. And it's very interesting if he goes there. The Denver Broncos are interested in signing uh, Pey- Peyton Manning. Hmm. Maybe um, maybe John Fox isn't so sold on Tim Tebow as we all thought he was. But Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning brings a lot of things to table. But you know what brings one thing to your team where he goes? Credibility. Peyton Manning is one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play the game. Will take a team to the playoffs wherever he goes. Will take a team least to the playoffs. Super Bowl... I'll see what team he goes to, but I think there has to be some more pieces. A lot of people right now are talking about the Dolphins. I don't think he goes to the Dolphins. Maybe I'm the only one with a plan doesn't think this, but I, I don't think he goes to the Dolphins. I think Dolphins more interested in getting uh, Matt Flynn. And uh, I think he goes, it's all said and done, when the smoke is settled, where he signs, I think he goes to mark it down, the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, him and Fitzgerald will put up sick numbers together. With Peyton Manning at the helm there, there's no doubt in my mind. The Arizona Cardinals will win the NFC West, no doubt about it, hands down. So I think Peyton Manning signs with the Arizona Cardinals. Reggie, another phrase out there uh, I really like is Reggie Wayne. He brings a lot to the table. He brings a lot of swagger to your team, brings some good hands, and brings in touchdowns because this guy can score the touchdowns. One of the best wide receivers in in the league. Uh, We'll go with Peyton, so... That'll be good uh, chemistry there. We'll have to get chemistry going with somebody else. And I think uh, if Reggie Wayne goes with Peyton Manning to uh, Arizona, I think Peyton's going, that'll turn to a lethal offense there in Arizona. And Reggie Wayne can still get it done. He may not be a spring chicken, as they say, but Reggie Wayne's still a top receiver in the NFL. Moving to another free agent, very interesting free agent, Randy Moss. For my money, Randy Moss is the second greatest wide receiver next to Jerry Rice, this guy, this guy is a beast. When he first came in the league, was a beast with, with the v- v- Vikings. You know, got traded to the uh, Raiders. Wasn't so good there. But you know, in 30 years, you know, went to the Pats. Was very good there, and then got traded from the Pats back to the Vikings. Wasn't good there. Then he went to the Titans too. He went, did he go somewhere else that year? No, no, I think he just went to the Titans and the Vikings and the Pats. Yeah, that's right, three teams. Wasn't very good, but a motivated Randy Moss is the best kind of Randy Moss because Randy Moss is a beast. And if you put Randy Moss, like, sports is going the Saints, you put Randy Moss on the Saints, whoa, look out. But I think, I don't know where Randy Moss is going to go right now. It's only speculation, obviously, but I think, I think the Saints aren't really a good fit. A good team, you know, I think a team like Chicago would be a better fit, you know, where you can play with uh, Jake Cutler. But yeah, I don't know where Randy Moss is going, but. Will be interesting because Randy Moss. I don't care how old he is, he is a one in a, one in a million wide receivers, and for my mind, the second best wide receiver of all time. And we're besides Randy Moss, same as Peyton Manning, will bring credibility to your team because he is that lethal of a player. Moving, let's stick with wide receivers here. As Vincent Jackson of the San Diego Chargers looks like Chargers gonna let let him go. You know, very good wide receiver. Probably, out of all this list, Wayne and uh, Randy Moss, probably the best wide receiver right now. Um, You know, he brings a lot to the table. It means a physical wide receiver. He will push those DBs around. He'll get downfield, get those tough yards, get those tough first downs that you need. Um, You know, very fit physical wide receiver, like I said. You know, probably going back Chargers because he's had a lot of uh, off-the-field incidents. It's not his production on the field is a question here. It's his off-the-field incidents. And also, he wants to be paid. He wants to be one of the highest-paid receivers in the NFL, which I think he's deserved to because he is one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. 
And I think when it's all said and done, I think he goes to the Chicago Bears. Obviously, you know, play with Jay Cutler, you know, turns the Bears. If if Vince Jackson goes to the Bears, that turns the Bears into a Super Bowl contender right there. I mean, with that defense being good, with Jay Cutler coming back, you know, Vincent Jackson could turn around any team he goes to, but I think he goes to the Chicago Bears. Sticking with the offensive ball, another corporate out there, Matt Flynn, a very good QB out there with the Green Bay Packers. Um, you know, he's only played two games in the NFL. Yes, you're banking a lot on a guy who's going to play two games, but those two games, he lit, lit up the Lions last year, who, who were a playoff team. Say what you want with that defense, the Lions were a playoff team, and he lit them up. You know, year before, he, went, he lit the Pats the year before. So only two games, but both two games per, productive. But I like, also I like about Matt Flynn, this guy's a winner. In college, he was a winner, took LSU to a national championship. And this guy, you know, he's a flat-out winner. And I think wherever he goes, I mean, I, th- I think he goes to the Dolphins. I think he signs with the Dolphins, and I think he turns the Dolphins into a contender. I see Matt Flynn, I see a lot of Tom Brady in him as, I'm not saying, you know, he's going to win three Super Bowls or MVPs and be one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of the NFL. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I see a lot of similarities in, the, in college. Winner in college... Both winners in college, both low dr- dr- draft picks. You know, guys had to wait behind o- other QBs. You know, Tom Brady had to wait behind Drew Bledsoe, and uh, and Matt Flynn had to wait behind Aaron Rodgers. So you know, I think Matt Flynn, if he goes to Dolphins, I think Dolphins come a contender because I'm a big Matt Flynn fan. Can do a lot. Can make plays inside the pocket, outside the pocket. Has a great arm. And what's also done in a few years, Matt Flynn could be one of the best QBs in the NFL. Okay, moving more to the defensive side of the ball here. The top free agent on the defensive side of the ball, I think, is Mario Williams. I mean, yes, it's a question mark if you sign this guy because he's had injury problems in the past. And I think, but I think it's big risk, big reward because this guy can give you pr- production. Should he be one of the highest paid players in the league? Yes. I know he had the injury, but. Mario Williams is a top five pass rusher in the NFL. And with the Texans signing uh, Foster, I don't think there's any room for uh, for Mario Williams on Texans. I think he goes somewhere. I think goes, if you're a team like Atlanta or your team like, uh, if you're a team like the Saints or your team like, you know, the Packers, you know, who are really good teams, but are maybe a few pieces on de- defensive away, I would sign him in a heartbeat. I mean, this guy is such a great player. And he's a top five pass rusher, like I said, top five pass rusher, and might be one of the best best defensive players in the in the NFL when it's all said and done. But I think he goes to Atlanta. All right, moving to another uh, defensive player and more in the backfield, Cortland Finneran of the Tennessee Titans probably won't be brought back. Um, you know, there's been a lot of he said she said with that, but. Um, Quan Fillion, for my money, is one of the best corners in the NFL. Physical guy. Well, get in receiver's head. You saw a couple years ago with with uh, with uh, Andre Johnson, the Texans. Got him to fight. Got him ejected out of the game. Smart player. Will get in people's heads. Physical. Gives nothing up. Will pick balls off. Take them to the house. And you know what? If I'm a team like Dallas, who's been looking for a corner, a franchise corner, since Deion Sanders left, I would sign him in a heartbeat because I believe he's that kind of player. Not say, Okay, okay. He's not Dion, okay? He's not Dion Sanders. No, nobody is. Nobody's Dion Sanders. Dion Sanders, say what you. Dion Sanders, let's say it right now. Dion Sanders is the greatest corner to ever play in the NFL. Other people say other people say Mel Blunt. No, 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 no. It's Dion Primetime Dion Sanders. Sorry, I had to go over a little rant there. But he's not Dion Sanders, but he's probably the best corner in Dallas since Dion Sanders and could really shorn up that defense and really make that defense into a top caliber defense which was the beginning of the season, top caliber defense, and take Dallas maybe to a Super Bowl. Moving to another free agent. You're not getting a lot of pub out there, but for my money, Curtis Lofton is a top middle linebacker in the NFL. This guy is a tackling machine. He is out there with Patrick Willis as tackles year in, year out. And I mark it down, write it down right now. Curtis Lofton will get Patrick Willis tight money. That's how good a player this is. This guy will tackle anything he sees in sight. You know, not more of a pass rusher. That's not really his game. But we'll get after the quarterback. We'll pick a few balls off here and there. But Curse Lofton, one of the best middle linebackers in the NFL, and will get paid like it this offseason. Where is he going? 
I think Atlanta should do everything in their power to keep him because he means so much to that defense. I mean, he's the leader of the defense. He call it like he def- calls the de- defensive plays in the defense. I mean, he's so vital to that defense in Atlanta. I mean, I can't see them w- w- without him. All right, that's it for now for my preview of the NFL fantasy. But make sure in a few days I'll be giving my review of the NFL fantasy. It's gonna be a crazy few days. NFL fantasy is always pretty crazy. You know, a lot of money will be spent in the next few days. Of crazy money. Will it change Super Bowl teams? I think this year it will because I think Peyton Manning could make so many Super Bowl teams. I think Mario Williams could turn into somebody to Super Bowl team. Who knows? Maybe Matt Flynn, maybe not instantly, but if around the road will turn to a Super Bowl team. Randy Moss, where, where's Randy Moss go? It's crazy. You know, Vincent Jackson, if he goes to the Bears, the Bears come a Super Bowl team. But that's it for now. Till next time, I'm Aaron Duxbury saying, I'm Ducks, and I know sports. Kind of.